Well, since it's Halloween, we decided we'd carve some pumpkins. So I put this little guy together last night. He's uh, kind of kind of simple. But so we're gonna see what I'll do for that. Got a little bit of pumpkin caught there. Yeah, got some, got some pumpkin caught in the blade, but it, uh, don't get too close to it because it is still armed. Oh. It, uh, yeah, I was getting chunks of pumpkin on me. That's a pretty good job of carving some pumpkins. Now can you do a pretty neat one? Uh, <laughs> if you ask me, that's pretty darn neat. It, it really is. You cut a whole chunk out. Go ahead and... I can still get the seeds out of that and bake those. Okay, well... Maybe not after we're done. Probably not. More pumpkin shot. Oh, there we go. Just threw it out on some. I had asked him why he needed a waterproof case for all the electronics, and I can kind of understand that now, obviously. More pumpkin pot. Hey, got it out. More pumpkin cut. And I'm stuck on pumpkin. Pumpkin's kind of slimy. Pumpkin is pretty nasty. Needless to say, don't do this at home. Or do it at home, just... Don't take my advice. We can't tell you what to do. <laughs> One more pumpkin to go. But that's an actual real saw blade. Yeah, it's a, an old one off my table saw that I had. And it's one of those, if you did get your foot or arm, we've got the dogs. The one dog, she's terrified of these things. The other one we got put up because she tried to chase it, which that thing would absolutely cut their leg off in a heartbeat. And even ours, the bone would stop it, but I'm not really into trying it. I don't know it. if the bone would stop it, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt it because he's cut through trees already with this. Let's see if I can just carve the bottom off. I'm gonna go to the other side. The sun's right in it. Yeah, I think it's completely off. Nice. So I, I can carve a pumpkin meatly. Yeah, you can. Um, they have pumpkin rings. Yeah. So definitely carve some pumpkins. What's his name now? This one's name? Ankle biter. Ankle biter, that's it. Yeah. That would bite an ankle. Uh, bad thing is I'm going to thin all those pumpkin off there. I'm hoping if I leave it outside, the birds will eat it. I don't know if birds will eat it or not. The dogs actually might. Uh, let's go back and trim some trees. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to cut a bay tree. Yeah, these little ones grow all over the place here. We've so. been planning on kind of clearing this little spot out anyway, so... If was four-wheel drive, it would have been a lot quicker. Yeah. To give you an idea what it just cut down. Nothing huge, but... That's over an inch. Not much, but a little over an inch, but... Cut it with ease. That little struggle at the end was vines wrapped in its wheels, and... 
just trying to get up over what he cut. We're gonna see if he can kind of go through this. Yeah, brush clear. Yeah, he needs full drive to get in there, but full drive, he'd have no problem. He's just struggling on all that the weeds and the dust. Now he's getting wrapped up in the axle. No, he got it out. Kind of mulched up now, this one. Oh, that's the other one. Like a crazy dog. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna tear it up. But it does a decent job there, so I guess you need a bigger blade on it and it can just be a brush trimmer. Four-wheel drive. No, oh, it's four-wheel drive. Anybody has one of these uh, uh, it's a elite power wheelchair laying around that you don't want, just let me have it. <laughs> then we'd have to get off-road tires. I mean, I'm, I'm stuck right there on something. If you had an enemy, that'd go up and cut a tire, wouldn't it? Yeah, I need a two by. I'm gonna see if I can find a little two chunk of two by four and see if we can cut it. Okay, now I am. Yeah, well, here's kind of a it's a two inch piece of pine. Let's see what he does to that. Well, he got through the little four inch section like it was nothing, so I flipped it over, and that's about seven or eight inches. So I'll see what he does to that. He cut through that other one like butter. That thing's dangerous. Evil. Evil. Yeah, I don't think um, bone would stop that. It just cut through it like butter. Yeah. <laughs> Side guards on it because it does kind of protect unless you're straight on with it. Yeah. Don't uh, be in front of it. Well, I'll go ahead and show you inside my little box here, which I kept going through motor controllers. I, when I put this motor on there, I burned up two yesterday. They caught on fire. Literally. Um, even though they were rated for 200 amps, and this thing does not draw 200 amps, they just literally caught on fire. They're cheapy ones so, from Amazon? Yeah. So um, I went ahead and just kind of put my own little ghetto point together, which I'll show you. Um, don't be up by the blade until I, which I'll go ahead and unhook. That's this is a, that's the batteries for the blades, so and now the blade doesn't come on at all. But um, this is just my generic little servo, and I made a set of points, so that's what turns the blades on and off. So it just makes contact and closes the circuit. It's about the easiest thing to do and there's something to come up with that no matter how much power I put through that, unless it melts in my bolts and servo arm. But And then this is my Cytron controller which controls the wheels. Um, and I've got, on the weapons motor it's a 9S, three 3S's together, then on the drive system for it I have 8S. So here's four 2S batteries. So 
it does the job but simple easy my little cheap fly sky radio i think this one was fifty dollars um I, I can't complain about it it works great so just the sir sir no controllers what were those yesterday that burn up what are they called oh motor controllers ESCs. motor controllers yeah yeah we can't afford the good ones that wouldn't catch yeah, on fire <laughs> kind of like this this is a 30 amp motor controller they're going to be kind of like this but um even that one there will probably draw 60 70 amps so i need a little better one uh, the same thing that's an amazon uh mini bike motor so this is yeah that's for a little mini scooter mini bike electric bike um same thing i think that was 35 dollars off amazon so pretty simple and then I, I knew i was gonna be carving pumpkins so i just kind of put everything in a little waterproof basket yeah you can there. see all the pumpkin yeah splattered so but it did the job kept my electronics clean and now it's now it's safe like i said the motor didn't or the weapon motor won't turn on or anything okay but, uh, still got good teeth on it so yeah like said, you haven't even offered it a challenge yet no, and this like this is actually a worn out blade I took off my table saw. Um, this is only a 10 inch. I wish I had a 12 or 14 inch, but I need a 12 or 14 inch with a half inch sharper to mount on this motor without having to do major modifications. And again, this was just playing around with. Um, he did this yesterday, literally. Yeah, this was just me kind of being bored and came up with something. I oh, we will take you guys back and show you my first saw blade that I was planning on slapping on here that would have been much more interesting but um, I'll show it to you and you can understand why I didn't just throw it on here yesterday so he went with this blade which is a 10 inch but he wanted to use that blade which is like a 30 inch yeah he had this kind of mounted so, like rough mounted on it gives you an idea how big it is and I was like oh we're gonna clear some roads through our forest okay so I've got another project coming up for that big blade. Um, I'm scared. I don't even ask anymore. I just kind of take the dogs and go hide or go to the beach. Which I, I may mount them on here, but I don't think so. I think I've got a, a much better, more unique plan for that. But and that's a, from what year range would that have been? 60s. 40, 50s? Okay. 60s. That actually went on a, a tractor. A tractor had the big flat belt to run it um i went ahead and cut the pipe off the other day and the pulley off but the pipe had actually had water in it and froze and cracked so the pipe was no good the bearings are actually still great on it and so it's going to have a future doing something but so i may do a video on that pretty soon um, when i come up with on that um i did play around a little bit yesterday and actually got a different motor fired up that will power that thing it's a big motor too good um we will try it and like i said thanks for watching hopefully we get another video and hope we don't lose an ankle and then you get to ride at home which isn't easy as it looks <laughs> molly's like no